Hi guys. Hello. How are you? Are you doing good? Uh, we we doing okay. We're doing okay. Yeah, we're, we're doing. We had to question it. That's not good. It's uh Thursday. We're film. This one is definitely a bit yeah. advanced. We we got some stuff going on with life, so we're recording a little in advance sometimes. Sorry, sue us. Don't sue us. I found Rittenhouse Rye finally in the store. Yeah. I've been looking for it, so I finally I made it. The uh, ooh, god damn! I want to do mine. I made the. Uh, I also oh, wanted shit. to do mine just for. Sorry, the uh, improved whiskey cocktail with the ingredients that my uh, channel I follow made. And uh, did I let mine enough? Really? Should I let so, mine more? Give it a little more. Mine's there. You go. You're good. That's yeah. <laughs> We're using my torch. Yeah. That's why I wanted to light mine. <laughs> uh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna make for a good thumbnail. <laughs> um, so how was your weekends? Yeah, how was your weekends? Um, were they everything you imagined them to be? I'm trying to remember what we would have done last week. Some stuff I'll tell you about after. I know of. Uh, what would you do this last week? Hold on. I didn't. Oh, I don't even wait. Know what day it is. Actually, I know what's going on. So. The, oh, man. You know what? Honestly. Man, I, I hate that we have to almost do this. But I feel like we might have to record a little section after this because the day after this drops, we'll have seen Alton Brown. Oh, yeah. Fuck. What day is that? Cocktail release of smoke. Um, March 20th is a Sunday. That's right. Oh, I would have celebrated my birthday. Bur- 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 I would have celebrated my brother's birthday after this. Happy birthday, George. Yeah. Also, my sister. Happy birthday, sister. Cheers. They're one year and a day apart. Which is wild. Ooh. Oh yeah. That is it's tasty. Very, very, very good. Also, it's a sad day. Why? Because it's the last one of that. Ah, uh, it's the last gym bean. Which means we've gone through twelve days of whiskey. Since Christmas. It's been twelve episodes since Christmas. Yeah. Holy fuck. On the 12th day... Oh, Christmas. It says to finish with something timeless, which is literally the same one as the first one. It's It's just just, regular old Jim Bean. They're like, cool, we gave him another one. He doesn't want you to drink it. It doesn't. But it does say drink any damn way you please. Right up top. That's fair. Those are the instructions, which I should have read. (laughs) But I am a man. We just follow the instructions. I'm kidding. Brake's chair. No. Yeah. This is the one I put together. It's not breaking. Yeah, that's The one fair. you put together is breaking. Why Mine will break real quick. Me? What? Who's calling you? My townhouse is calling me. Oh, then maybe they bought dialed you because that was quick. No, it was ringing for a little bit. Oh, well, that's fine. Everything's fine. Yeah. Hopefully my shit's not on fire. I guess if he calls back again, we can answer. But, uh, no, they... Yesterday, yeah. <laughs> I'm wearing a straight from the past shirt. I went and saw in between podcast episodes. <laughs> I went and saw straight from the path. Uh, <laughs> it was really awesome. They were really good. That was not good. Yeah, no, it's just straight whiskey. That's not. <laughs> take a take a sip of this. It'll be better. Yeah. If you want there's some water over there. But um. Uh, no, continue your story. Oh, so no, I went and saw Straight from the Path. Finally got to see them. I can't remember if I mentioned it Tuesday, but uh, we... I missed seeing them the last time I hit, came here. They were headlining, but I was fucking exhausted from work because that was when we were doing some heavy overtime and I'd work the next day. And so, like, I just didn't end up seeing them because, like, we were both falling asleep standing up and we were like, cool there's still two more bands 
<laughs> and I was like, yeah, we're getting old. Yeah, and I was like, okay, I can't do this. Well, they opened up this time. So I was like, all right, fuck yeah. Unfortunately, Spirit Box had to drop because uh, someone in their camp got corona. So they had to, uh, you know, not play for a couple shows. I don't know when they're coming back. but So we were like, well, we don't really listen to Bad Omens. They, I've seen them before, too. They were okay. And then we've seen Under Oath, both of us, like twice. So we were just, like, exhausted. Under Oath's a banger, though. I know. Yeah. That was the only thing is we were like, it kind of sucked. But the main thing, too, was that, like, uh, Tuesday night, uh, Penny fucked her paw up. Uh, her nail, it split. It got caught. In some, I don't know what she was running around. She does. And so she fucked her paw up. And so we were like, oh, no. So Melissa ended up having to take her to the vet. And, you know, they had to give her some medicine, put a little stuff on it. And. So we were like, all right, well, she was fine after she got the medicine and stuff. She was running around playing all that. So we were like, all right, well, we can we can make a little trip out and go just see Stray. Because I was like, look, I'm not missing Stray. I fucking have been wanting to see them for since then. And I kind of regretted not seeing them afterwards because I was like, I could have just been tired. Yeah, but still. But sucks, also man. at the moment of time. Yeah. It's one of those in the moment you're just like, God damn it. Yeah. That was my Saturday. I was like, I could stay out and hang out with everybody, but I'm tired. I want to go home. Yeah. Which was nice. But also, I'm wearing my shirt. And in between podcast episodes, I did not fuck somebody's wife. Nope. That'd have been really quick. Yeah, that was the one day in between. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm uh, announcing it here. Yeah. <laughs> to sorry. The seven of you. Oh uh, yeah, seven or eight. Seven or Give eight. Give or take. Give or take. Yeah. Oh, I gotta crack my ankle. Anyways, have um. You had a topic. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Usually we have a week in between these things. Yeah. But- I saw a TikTok and I stopped it because I didn't want to steal any of his ideas because it's a great idea. Dinosaurs versus Mother Nature. Like, we know that it was way more chaotic back then, like yeah. volcanoes and tornadoes and hurricanes and everything else. Yeah. But could you imagine a fucking tornado just lifting up a dinosaur? <laughs> Yeah, dude, like honestly. Like, just a fucking T-Rex getting swung around. <laughs> just a fucking Triceratops, all that shit. Oh, my gosh. Ugh. Well, there's also, like... So, I see those videos of, like... Uh, I follow Nature vs. Metal. I don't know. Wow, well, Nature vs. Metal on uh, Instagram. Mm-hmm. And it's... Uh, essentially, it's just animals in nature but it's usually like a lion killing a wild boar or a, a hippo drowning a ba- baby hippo dude hippos are fucking monsters yeah hippos are evil uh, but yeah it's like a hippo drowning a the baby hippo of the alpha male that he just killed to take over the control of the pride in like just how essentially, yeah, nature is just there's no more remorse. Dude, nature's um, fucking wild. But then there's also the videos of like deer, like cert, like a there's a space a special antelope, and it just comes like just speed running down this mountain, and you're like holy shit. But then there's also the other one of a regular deer that's running up a like a river water like there's like a waterfall. And then the base of just like a really long hill, so it's just slippery moss. And there's this deer just climbing up it, and it gets like towards the top. And this guy's just like filming it, like almost make it to the top, and then it just slips in. <laughs> I uh, shouldn't laugh at it. No, you, I mean you can, <laughs> you know, exactly. It yeah. just fucking careens down. It just like blah 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 a couple times, and then it just flat right into some like oh. rock bed. Right in front of them. Luckily, it's not like super like it doesn't explode, but it definitely is. uh, I mean, it might have on the other side of the camera, but it didn't. 
I, you just I, definitely see it there, and you're like, oh. I went to feed the deer once uh, where my parents used to live, and we would just throw apples from the balcony, and they'd come out and eat them and cool. And uh, I threw one out to the trees that you, they usually hung out at, and I, like, chucked it because I wanted it to go far. Yeah. And fucking just took the apple and, like, yeeted it. And as I threw the apple, a deer came out from behind the tree. And just <laughs> like, he was like, Whoa. I was just sitting there like, I felt awful, man. Like I just smacked Bambi's mom in the face. That's why she but killed herself. She was like, she went and found that hunter and she's Jesus. like, take me out. <laughs> take me out. We just lost all eight of our viewers with I that did. hot take. <laughs> oh. Bambi's just like, no. Oh. <laughs> Anyway, so what Dude. I was talking about with that deer thing, yeah, uh, there definitely had to be also dinosaurs that were like trying to do that same shit Dude, and just 100%. fucking careening down hillsides, 100%. climbing up, and the volcano goes off, and then there's like, well, you are melted. Yeah, you're fucked. you no longer exist. Your atoms yeah. are lava. You are now Earth. Immediately, yeah, or within like ten seconds. It's quick, man. It's quick. Like, lava's so hot, if you stand next to it, you're going to catch on fire. Yeah, basically. Which is wild. Those videos on YouTube of them, like, just melting shit with lava is pretty cool. Dude. You ever seen the the elephant's foot? It's, uh, like, a radioactive thing. I think it was from Chernobyl. Um, no. But it's, like, just this molten radioactive material that kind of looks like an elephant's foot. Okay. And, like, apparently if you get, like... I don't know how far away, but if you get close to it, like, you just die. Like, wow. Yeah, you just die. Because like, it's that radioactive? Yeah. Hmm. She's wild. Okay, so how many people got close to it and died before they figured it out? Like, seven. Because there, <laughs> there had to be, like... For sure, like, one or two people that were just walking by. The first one walked by and died, and they were like, huh, that's weird. It was probably, like, like military tactics. Like, you see your man go down, and you, like, run to them immediately, and then... And then, hey! Is, yeah. And then there's just immediately, there's just, like, a pile of seven guys. Just <laughs> the entire, just like, hey, what happened? Oh. Hey, what happened? Like, oh, oh. Not... Not going close to that, not at all. <laughs> and they just keep uh, running. And what keeps happening? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you guys taking a nap? Hap? <laughs> cuddle puddle? Oh. <laughs> Dude, I fucking miss cuddle puddles, man. Oh. <laughs> no, honestly, God. I feel like for sure at least one guy. Like, well, okay, like where was it discovered? I want to say it was Chernobyl, but I can't remember. I, For I sure, that makes sense. Okay. Oh, so it was some kind of thing that was in Chernobyl that I, they pulled out of it, it type thing. I don't because like I almost imagine out. like it was just like maybe something exploded and it was like a super nuclear rock that um, flew out and just landed somewhere. And they were like, "Hey, what's that?" Huh? I don't know if they pulled <laughs> it out. It was um. It was apparently just a large mass of corium and other materials that formed underneath Chernobyl uh, during the accident. Um, oh, you know what? I bet you something fucking cracked. Active? Oh, it's it's technically not active still, but it's still generating heat and still melting uh, down into the base of Chernobyl. So it might not be radioactive anymore, but it's still hot as fuck. Gotcha. Yeah. So I guarantee... Yeah, never mind. Maybe someone... They knew why they died. They were radioactive. But also still getting close to it. Yeah, they're all like walking around in suits and then just like... Oh. <laughs> Dude, it was apparently like... It emitted so much heat it could like just set you on fire. Yeah. That's wild. We made that. We made that. We made that, guys. Not Proud us. Of us. Look at that. But Look at the human us. race. Making fucking... Yeah. Death rocks. Death rocks. It's a death rock. <laughs> I want to put it on a ring. <laughs> huh? Just. <laughs> you died. <laughs> <laughs> Just throw little pieces uh, in at people like. <laughs> it's, it's literally kryptonite is what we made except like. Yeah. Better. <laughs> Fucking idiot. 
<laughs> uh. I'm sorry. That was a terrible three doors down joke. <laughs> I almost went Enrique Iglesias with it. I can be your hero, baby. Uh, are you okay there, buddy? Yeah, I'm writing an idea down. I'm sorry. No, you're perfectly okay. Um. Anyways, you keep but, going but, about but, the dinosaurs. Uh, that's all I had really was. Oh, dinosaurs just that? Was crazy. Well, I guess like, dude, that would be so cool to just observe dinosaurs, like when they were then. Dude, going back to our time travel question, I'd be dope. honestly, yeah. yeah. Just go back and check out dinosaurs, see if they were feathery or not. Yeah. Dude, it'd be wild. Honestly, like, just seeing, like, raptors actually hunt shit. Dude, we would probably get hunted if we went back. Like, no questions asked. We would we would 100% die. 100%. Ugh. Can we do the transition earlier, though, just so I can call back my townhouse before they close? Because I am a little worried that my shit's on fire. We can pause. Okay. Transition. We're back. Yeah, my apartment's not on fire. Everything's cool. I was just worried about my kitties. Everything's uh, cool. Yeah. Um, I had a thought, and I forgot it. That's normal. No. Uh, so, when we were talking about, like, observing old shit, like dinosaurs and fuck. Yeah. <laughs> dinosaurs fucking? Is that what you want to no, go back and observe? I did not. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, Mark. Um, I was thinking about, like... Those uh, the the club. The oh fucking, yeah, 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 yeah. The, the dinosaur that has a club as a tail. Uh, I forgot. Seeing one of those mother th- things Spike. destroy some shit. Spike, dude. Yeah, Spike. Whatever. Yeah, whatever he was. Seeing one of those motherfuckers like fight like a T Rex or fight some shit. Dude, that'd be brutal. Like, it's like, that'd be cool, but then you're also like, oh, it's just him getting knee chopped. Basically. If if he can't get, like, if he can avoid it, he's just getting, he's just knee chopping a T-Rex. Dude. Or, like, Billy Club and a fucking raptor. Did you, I don't know if this one was a real one or not, but you've heard about Quizzicottle, right? I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. It might be, like. Shekel Khan or some shit um, but it's like the giant Thunderbird um, it was like a mythological creature that people believed in but they think it might have been a dinosaur and shit just thought about Jason Jason Firebird he had the Firebird oh yeah yeah that's right mm-hmm. I was very fucked up in that car oh yeah that was the car that you got taken home in after you got roofied yeah. anyways memories uh, but yeah the Thunderbird if you could imagine going back and seeing shit like that, like, just look up and there's a fucking, like, Boeing 57 or whatever it is, like, just in the sky and it's a bird. Like, what? <laughs> that would blow my fucking mind. Fucking God. wild. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be the thing, too, is you'd be like, you really, like, just everything around you would kill you. Do you think people in the future are going to think that about us? Yeah. Like they're gonna look, look at back those and dumb be like, fox. "Yo, those fuckers like captured a rhino. Like, why? Yeah. Uh, no, there's gonna be a lot of stuff that we do. I mean, as we're doing it now, we're just keep we're going and going and going. We're freaking out. You know, the future is well. The future is now. It's not. The future was yesterday. I'm kidding. Whoa. Whoa. Time travel. Bro. Honestly, it blew my mind. You <laughs> blew it. Speaking of yesterday, yeah. Um, did you see that thing where the the the, the 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 what the fuck is wrong with me today? Holy shit! It's been a day. Yeah. Fuck. I luckily actually, well, I had the day off, but I am still, as we mentioned last week, starch march. I was cleaning yeah. the house. Kinda and getting I groceries. I gotta figure out what to make. Mostly, Still. actually, if I'm fair, uh, I definitely got very distracted and did not clean much as I hoped. I was wondering what the cutlery was for. When I was bringing that down to the basement, I was like, "Why does he have plastic silver?" Oh yes, that's for starch the march. Starch yeah, march, yeah. Fuck. So we don't have to clean. Hopefully, that's that our well. demise. That's my demise. Yeah. Uh, 
I ended up. Uh, I could have no, brought some I, over. Well, we can talk about it on here because at this point, it's dedicated peoples. Yeah, it already happened too. Sturgeon merch. Well, that and uh, well, no. Uh, I kept getting really distracted because I was looking up the cameras. Yes, we're yeah. gonna be uh, we're gonna be upgrading the cameras here soon. Mm-hmm. Making some audio listeners, it's not a single thing is gonna change for you. Yeah. Um, but the video people, um, I think we're, we're going to be investing in some cameras. Um, I think it'll, it'll be good. It's time to give Mike his camera yeah. that he's, uh, lovingly and, and graciously. graciously lent us for yeah. like a year and a half, yeah. oh, a year, Roughly. about a year. Yeah. How many episodes did we... Well, I, 15, right? Yeah, we did, we 15. did it up until his episode, and I think he gave us one. So we've done yeah. 50... Something. Three. We've officially borrowed the camera a year, because he, he was 15 episodes. This is 73. God damn. We should... Uh, we should so, have Mike back on as a guest after we get the new cameras. Yeah. Well, <laughs> when we had, Yeah. Uh, but we're going to be uh yeah we want to add some cameras here we're gonna get some you can actually look at our faces yeah, instead of uh it. just seeing this because unfortunately for us to talk to each other this works the best yes but we're but, gonna pop some shit up to where you can see like our good sides which for me is this side which is why we switch sides yes um yeah and then Honestly, like I'm looking yeah. forward to it because we're going to be using that with the three cameras. Um, we're going to be able to do a lot more stuff when it comes to the sketch stuff because that's like the that's the thing is it's like we were already planning on kind of trying to do some stuff with sketch stuff that would have involved having to do like multiple, multiple takes cameras, yeah. of the same thing with the camera in different spots, and now we don't have to worry about that. So that unfortunately is a uh, one of the delays of the sketches that we had wanted to do that and just life in general yeah um, i'm sure we'll we'll talk about the things in life later on as things progress and we will also um find a way to set up some stuff at my house and in other rooms to where we can put out more content yes um not that any of you watching right now really care Cause we're probably on in the background. How are your dishes coming? <laughs> How's that work going? Yeah. Are you are you mathing well? Does the are the numbers coming out yeah. correct? Are they not? Are you frustrated? Have you gotten? Do you, you are? You, it's okay to ask for help. Do you need to borrow a calculator? I got one. It's in your phone. Fuck. That's right. Just download an app. Do you need to borrow a phone? Do you need? Are do you not? Do you not have a phone? Are how are you listening to us? Yeah. Are Is we it, on your are TV you, right you, now? Right, hi. If we're on your TV right now, send me a Snapchat of me talking to me from your TV. I don't know why. I don't open Snapchat anymore. Yeah, basically, you yeah. forget to all the time. It's fine. Yeah. Well, to be fair, I had I had reasons to before. Yeah. It, it, not just you. That's I fair. I love you, buddy. Yeah, no, it's fair. I get yeah. what you mean. I know exactly. Yeah, now that you said that, I'm like, oh, yeah. 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 Now it's like, oh, we get a Snapchat of somebody singing in the car. Oh, or I don't. like a yeah. Snapchat of their dog. And I'm like, that's cute. And that's it. Yeah. I open it like every four days. <laughs> You're like, oh, I get to see everyone's week. Yeah. <laughs> that's literally what I do. On Mondays, I'll just go through all the Snapchats. They, uh, I am <sighs> sorry to go back. I'll, I'll go back to, uh after the camera thing a little quick yeah, 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 uh, yeah, yeah. once we finally get those in like it's uh i i'm tired of just constantly talking to you guys about what we are going to be doing to, for you and instead like once we finally have these it's like okay we can really figure out like what we're doing yeah and we're getting together several times a week now. Yep. Which is another reason why we're probably very tired this episode, and I apologize again. Uh, yeah, we're we're uh, we're yeah. getting it. We're working it out. We're trying to figure out the best schedule for us to try and uh, put at least an actual work day's worth of mm -hmm. hours into this, other than uh, the couple hour, two hours or so that we podcast and then talk for like an hour and catch up and not 
work on anything. Yeah. Because we just get distracted really easily. I really should talk to your, like, should. psychiatrist guy and be like, hey, I need I, I need the Ritalin. Yeah, I'll give you his number. That's a good reminder. I have to schedule another appointment. And I was supposed to do that in February. <laughs> Honestly, it'd be really funny Oops. if he, like, talks to me and he's like, wait, is this ED? And it's like, no. Nope. <laughs> He's like, are you sure this sounds like the same He's dude? He's a chill dude, man. Dr. Popoff. Oh, yeah, that was my therapist. You should get one of those, too. Yeah. I should start going back. <laughs> Life. Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing, too, is it's been the same thing. I've been like, well, um, what do I feel like... Uh, what else are we doing? Because life has just been busy. Dude, honestly. Um, Sunday, I'm going to pick up a cool little art piece. Um, yeah? Yeah, I'll show you a picture of it. It's sick. It's like a, 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 a terrarium, like glass terrarium thing with like a skull inside. It's really fucking we'll cool. Throw it up here. Hit, follow them on the Instagram. I'll put a link in the description if I remember, man. But, uh... Yeah. If we didn't edit anything in there, <laughs> just put whatever you want. <laughs> I'll add something there uh, if I remember. We have two weeks. I'll remember to edit it. Uh, I have, have time. Two weeks. We won't remember. Yeah, this is two weeks advance, like we said. Mm. Um, for the audio listeners, um, I don't know. Imagine what yeah, you said. Imagine Fucking what I said. It. Fucking use your imagination. It. You're you're an adult. Put whatever you want. Whatever you uh, think I got. If you're in, not an adult, there. why the fuck are you listening yeah, to this? Yeah, I've seen our demographic. You're not. You're not our demographic. Why are Get you Get out watching? of here. Just go home. Tell go your, home. Tell your mom we said hi. Do you not have parents? If you don't have parents, do you want one? <laughs> <laughs> probably. Yeah. That's probably <laughs> all they want. <laughs> fuck. I don't know. I sounded like an <laughs> asshole. <laughs> Do you want some parents? I was going for like a Batman joke, and now it just sounds mean. I was of course, I want some parents. We'd we'd be the Bruce Wayne for them. <laughs> Do you know gymnastics? I we can put you to work. Gymnastics. Are you? Are you... No. <laughs> Although we should do that. <laughs> we should do that one day. You be Batman, I'll be Robin. I'll wear the actual like green tights too. <laughs> uh, Only if I can be George Clooney Batman with the nipples. the nipples. Yeah, yeah I gotta have the gotta nipples. Have the nipples. <laughs> okay, hold on. So she's definitely not gonna hear me talk about it, but she at a co one of my coworkers, we were discussing it. She said her favorite Batman is George Clooney. Right? So, yeah. I thought about it. I I definitely disagree with her. Yeah. But I can also kind of understand it. I think he was it, a good Bruce Wayne. That's basically kind yeah. of what she said. She was a, he was a really good Bruce Wayne, but she also liked that he was a bit more of a compassionate Batman. Which made sense to yeah. her was like he was the I I don't know. Be fair, I think she was definitely horned up on George Clooney. Yeah. Cause if you hear this, I'm not wrong. I'd fuck George Clooney. <laughs> but, but I'm laughing because I know she's laughing. Uh but the um she was like He's a. Uh, she did like him, and I was like, I don't disagree with you that he was. Uh, he was a bit more of a, a sophisticated, well-rounded Batman yeah. character. Excluding the nipples, I think it really would have been a pretty solid movie. It was a bit cartoonish. Yeah, they were going for, sure. for like the Adam West vibes on it, which was fine. Yeah, but. I I liked the idea of it. I do think obviously they could have done a little better with it, but. I do think George Clooney had given the chance in a darker Batman. Yeah, I think it would have done well. That said, I also still have not seen the new Batman. Me either. Maybe by the time this episode comes out, we, we will should have, we I should go know. see that. I hear it's really good. Me too. But 
I have not seen it. One thing I do like is um, they're doing toys. And the way they're doing the toys, like the, the ads for the toys, yeah, are exactly like how they did toy ads in the 80s and 90s. Nice. And like, a lot of people are making fun of it. They're like, oh my God, you know this movie sucks because they're shilling out advertisements for toys instead of the movies. But I'm like... It's marketing. They're literally hitting the nostalgia factor. Like, it is year one Batman where he's like starting out as Batman. So they're hitting you with the nostalgia of like, remember the toys? Yeah. Like they're taking you back to year one, which is fucking brilliant. Yeah. And that was the thing is I feel like most people, I don't, the, some of the gripes I've kind of seen about it, obviously having not watched it, so I can't give any spoilers, is just mostly that like he's, um, I mean, like one, he doesn't ever call himself Batman, I guess. Yeah. From what I understand. But my understanding is it's He's like, not supposed to be yet. It's the it's beginning. Yeah, yeah. It's before he's even figured himself out. Yeah. And he's just like a young, angry, like 20 something year old. Yeah. Because basically, from the like ages of 18 to like 25, 26, you're pretty much just like really, yeah. really stupid. Yeah. Like, I'll even extend it to 30. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Honestly, well, yeah. yeah. Essentially, to me, around like 25 is when think, it it, it kind of starts to make sense. And then mm. at 30, it kind of like, eh, you have an idea what's going on. Yeah. So you can kind of get things together. I would have, honestly, I, I hope the movie was good. I hear it was good. Yeah. Um, a few of my buddies who are, <coughs> I really respect their opinion on, on movies, they said it was great. I would have preferred Robert Pattinson as Batman Beyond. Like, that would have been fire. Pun intended. I can agree. Because, like, he, um, he, he definitely has the slender build. Yeah. And that was something, like, I forgot who I was listening to in the podcast, but they mentioned that, that he was way more of a slender build where like obviously all almost all of the old Batmans other than really Adam West were fucking jacked built and jacked yeah. but like I was thinking like he it makes sense if yeah if he's supposed to be younger then he realizes like alright well I need to bulk up from fighting yeah. shit and then he's gonna bulk up in the next movie type thing I also think uh, I haven't seen it so I Ooh. might be wrong but I do think this is before the Ra's al Ghul stuff so it's before he gets yes. trained and everything. So there's also that, and that's what I've heard too. Is it's before that. There's also my thought is that, um, Ooh. reminds me of the Fourth of July. My other thought is that, um, from what I understand, in the new DC that they're going to be doing with, um. It's going to be Aquaman, Flash, like some of the DC characters, yeah. not all of them, or some of the Justice League, not all of them, but they're continuing the movie series, but... They're doing like a soft reboot without rebooting. Yeah, yeah. soft reboot. And, but Michael Keaton is coming back That's what I heard. as yeah. old Batman. And I'm wondering if Robert Pattinson is playing the young version that becomes old Michael Keaton Batman that that would be interesting yeah because honestly like one it'd be really cool because honestly that is how I keep saying honestly I keep saying that's wild that's wild honestly <laughs> <laughs> but if they were to because the way that Marvel set it up was really like they didn't announce they were doing the Marvel the Civil War or the Avengers yeah. until they just started dropping like little hints hints yeah. and then all of a sudden Thor came out and they're like wait and then Captain America and you were like okay they're definitely doing it yeah so like I do like that like you said they're kind of doing the soft reboot and it would make sense if they set it up where this is the young version of it and then in this new movie they drop some old stuff and then maybe he can even reference well, they're also doing Flashpoint. Uh, yeah. So they're going to like... 
Well, I think that's yeah. That's that's the Flash movie coming out. I want to say where where they're gonna basically change the timeline, which didn't work out super well in the comics, but could work out really well for DC. The only thing I'm worried about is like it's going to have the X Men cinematic universe kind of like fuck up, where they reboot the timeline and then fuck the timeline up all again. Well, here's my thought. Is my thought is right now most people are liking the new Batman style. Mm. There's a chunk that obviously don't, but there's a good chunk that do. Now, using Flashpoint story arc as a way to reboot it without admitting they fucked up yeah. in that this is the universe they're now working in. They can now pivot and just continue in this universe. Yeah. And this is their the only reason they're doing this is because they totally fucked up the yes. first ones. All I want from Flashpoint, and I'm sure it's not going to happen, I want Jeffrey Dean Morgan to be Thomas Wayne. Yeah. Like and he's, he's, he again, voiced him in the series. Well, he also plays him in. The he play I Batman Begins. Yeah, he did in Batman Begins. He plays yeah. just the beginning, the yeah. father. And he voiced him in in uh, the Flashpoint animated movie. <laughs> it makes I'm sense. Not mistaken. Which also, I'm a huge supernatural nerd. Yeah, um, I haven't even both uh, um, Jared Padalecki and Sam uh, something. Padalecki. Uh, Jared Padalecki no. played Sam, and then I can't oh. remember the guy who played Dean. J- uh, Jensen Ackles. Oh, Jensen Ackles. Yeah, yeah sorry. they both voiced. Uh, one did Batman, which would have been a phenomenal fit. Um, I believe he also did Red Hood, which would have been a phenomenal fit for live action as well. And then the other one voiced Nightwing, and he fucking looks like Nightwing. So, like, give me Jared Padalecki as Nightwing in a live action that would be amazing i'm gonna be honest with you i out of the two of those if they were between those two i would definitely see jared padalecki more as batman problem is the hair i could see him as batman but his hair fits the nightwing vibe and nightwing is just about as buff as batman in the later comics So, and Nightwing does become Batman. Um, And then you look at the Red Robin, Red Hood vibe. That's just fucking Dean from Supernatural. Well, I guess I'm thinking like the guy, what's the, uh, um, you said the guy that plays Sam, longer hair. Jared. Jared. Uh, It's Jared? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm thinking of Sam Eccles. Or not Sam. Jensen Eccles. God damn, I'm mixing the name up. It's all right. (laughs) I don't watch the show. I've seen a couple episodes, so I They're appreciate good. it. They're yeah. good. It is a very yeah. good show. I just never had the time to force myself to sit it's, down. It's a lot. Yeah, it's a yeah. lot. Um, Jensen Eccles to me is more of the Batman. Yeah, I know you said the hair. But the hair would be the guy who played Sam. Long hairs. So. Yes. Yeah. To me, but to me, like the more like his style reminds me more of a Robin. Yeah. Yeah, that's why just build wise. Yeah, that's why I think he's good for Red Robin slash Red Hood because yeah. it's like it's the it's basically Robin becomes Batman but with guns. Yeah, so I'm like he would fit really well as that Robin, and then yeah, Jared Padalecki, the guy who plays Sam, he he literally looks like Nightwing. Like yeah. he's built, he's got Dude, the longer I, hair. I like, wish they had done the Jordan Gordon Levitt Robin arc before they yeah. like just didn't. <laughs> yeah, because now it's like way Robin. past the time to do it. Yeah. It's like way too late. Like he would have been the perfect oh, actual yeah. Robin. I, uh, God, I want to write a Batman movie. So bad. I don't know enough to be worth it, but like. That's one thing too that we've talked about is we really do plan on making like a full short oh, film. Oh yeah, yeah. We I, already have the idea we had for for yeah. the guy who has Skeletor's voice, dude. The only problem is we can't actually do that. We could. I mean, we. We could. I don't. We. I. I guess we could, but like, I'm worried about getting like a cease and desist because it's. 
I don't think we would. No? No. I don't think we would. Like, people would be like, oh, he sounds like Skeletor. And we'd be like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> I just like doing that. Okay. <laughs> That's the best noise. But, like, meh. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was doing that with my cats the other night. <laughs> I went home on Tuesday, and I was just looking at her. I was like, "Yeah, see, <laughs> like moving them around and shit." I'm skeletal. Um, I no, I'm excited to like. We really oh, the superhero is Kermit, <laughs> dude. I wish we. If we had the time and budget to really... Do, I We need to win the lottery. Oh, 100%. Man. We need to start actually playing the lottery again. Because then... Here's what the thing. I want to win, like... Let's win the lottery at the massive jackpot. I'm going to give away, like, at least a quarter of it. Yeah. For sure. For oh, sure. 100%. Quarter to half. Maybe... Yeah. Th- probably a third. At least a third Whatever of the taxes are, I will give that away. No, I won't because the taxes are like fifty percent. Yeah, your taxes are like forty. Yeah. So if you win a hundred million, you're getting sixty. Yeah, and then I would give away like probably ten. Yeah, I'm giving away like. Sorry, that's a lot. I'm giving away like fifteen million because yeah. ten of it, I'm definitely like. I may have mentioned it on here. I'm gonna like literally restore like a Detroit school. Oh yeah. Or like uh. First of all, I'm actually going to buy an entire neighborhood's worth of mortgages off and be like, I'm not owning your houses. I'm just paying your mortgage off. So you own them. And then uh, you do what you will. Yeah. I would, and then I would don't pay my rent sell off the house. I'd pay my rent for a year. Like just all in one. And just be like, all right, don't fucking call me ever again. Unless my house is on fire. Unless my house is on fire. <laughs> No, honestly, no, dude. You, we win the, we win the lottery. Fuck, going back dude, to yeah. I'm knock on your neighbor's door and just be like, "How much do you want for the house?" Yeah. No, here's what happens. I sell this place, buy only a slightly nicer place than this, with basically that's a lie. I just build. The place yeah. that we feel like building. Dude, we buy Have two it completely plots of land. paid off. Yep. Yeah. Do the dream scenario we talked about. Two plots of land, two houses built right on top of each other. And then in a lot, have a big have acres. In a location that's decently close to an airport. So that way we if we have guests, they can come by and it's not weird. Dude, if we won the lottery, people would want to come by anyway. Like, we'd have no shortage of guests. Maybe. But that way we could actually get real guests and take our time to... um, We do plan to start researching actual things to kind of talk about. And by that, I mean, we're we're not going to research them. We're just going to start mentally logging down when we think of a dumb idea to talk about. But um, we're going to upgrade this fucker. We're going to keep working... The uh, the eventual dream is to own a warehouse full of studios that we can just do all kinds of dumb content. Yeah, even if we're 40 plus and nobody's watching, we're still going to be doing this. Yes. Like this is never ending. We are going to keep doing this. We're literally going to die on camera. And that's when people are going to watch <laughs> that episode. <laughs> and then like, wow, what did they drop? I'm like, we should have been watching this the whole time and neither of us is going to make any money. I'm kidding. We're gonna start. We're a trust not gonna fund. make money anyways. We're gonna start a trust fund for our children. If any of us have children, technically, I already did. What? I don't have kids. I started the trust fund. Oh. Um, <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> no. Uh, when my dad died. Um, yeah, you do have the trust fund. I uh, he took. I think like probably 60% of the money and like stored it away for us to like we're supposed to get it in chunks throughout our life type thing until like the guy who ran it found it deemable to give it to us he's now giving it to both of us early but because we both didn't become fuck my dad just wanted to make sure we weren't fuckheads yeah he didn't want to give us like a fucking you know massive amount of money at like 18 yeah and then fucking go blow up being a dumb shit because i oh, would have fucked up I yeah so 
now that we both made it past 25 and we didn't fuck our lives up, he was like, okay, I don't feel like doing the taxes anymore on this shit, so I'm just going to send it your way. And I was like, yeah. cool. But, like, I haven't touched really any of that. That's just setting us. I just kind of set that somewhere else because, again, I'm not acting like it. But the other thing my dad did was he wanted both of us to go to college. <laughs> we definitely didn't. Speaking of college. That's a lie. Kyle, it, I, yeah. That's my college. Yeah. I, oh, yeah, your glass. Mm-hmm. I went to, I did a semester and a half. Okay. Was it? I did a year. Maybe. Yeah. It was bad. Uh, <laughs> but I just gave up. And so, uh, oh, that and it also, it, I did use some of the money to pay for the audio internship I was doing. Yeah, I remember you telling me about that. Not, okay. yeah. Because it was, yeah, that was like, my mom was like, all right, we'll use that for that. Otherwise, like, I can't touch that money. It's only for college. Because he was like, I want them to go to college. Yeah. So they can only use this for that. And if they don't use it, legally, it goes to our, my, our kids. Smart. If yeah, yeah, so like, if basically neither of us went to college, so now both of our kids, if we have them, are gonna have at least something in there. It keeps getting dwindled out with taxes, and that's why yeah. they like use it. Which that's fucking, that's so shitty, dude. Like, it's money that's already been there, but it's getting taxed every year. Yeah, basically. Like, taxation but, is theft. So also, I'm gonna need to start doing. Shout things. out, Dad. We didn't go to college. But we're doing this. Yeah. I am telling dick jokes to the internet. Hopefully it does well. I think you'd approve. Yeah. I got his humor, so... This is your fucking fault. Yeah. Uh, If I'm not successful, I'm blaming you. Oh, the camera went off. Oh, fuck. (laughs) (laughs) He said, nope. (laughs) Oh, fuck. (laughs) <laughs> I can't talk shit to my dad anymore <laughs> That was not planned My camera actually just turned off when I said that Love you dad We're gonna end this episode yeah. Thank you guys for watching um, Love you Love you Love you Mr. Have Brandon's a good guys dad. Love you guys Um. Bye, bye. <laughs>